Do you or your partner suffer from erectile dysfunction? Is erectile dysfunction affecting your sex life? If so, stay tuned as we'll be talking about the most common causes of erectile dysfunction and how to treat it. My name is Matt and I'm a sexual educator and practitioner and I'm going to tell you how you can improve your sex life starting from now. Erectile dysfunction, also known as impotence, is the inability to obtain an erection and sustain it for long enough to engage in sexual intercourse. Erectile dysfunction is very common above the age of 40. In most cases, it causes by stress, anxiety, lack of sleep or excessive alcohol intake and smoking. A number of other factors can also increase your risk of developing erectile dysfunction and each factor might need to be addressed individually. So let's talk about the usual culprits you might already know about. Excess weight, lack of exercise or drug use and mental health issues such as high level of anxiety and stress can dramatically influence your ability to get and sustain an erection. 79% of men with sleeping problems have erectile dysfunction. Sometimes it's due to hormonal imbalance, having low level of testosterone or even diabetes. Some prescribed medications can also cause erectile dysfunction, such as antidepressants, some antipsychotic medications, certain blood pressure medications and testosterone blocking medications. If you have cardiovascular disease, the blood vessels supplying the penis may also be affected. It can also be due to a history of injury, surgery in the genital area or any condition affecting the nerve supplying the penis. So what treatment is available for erectile dysfunction? What can be done to help? Thankfully, treatment is very effective in the vast majority of men whose erectile dysfunction is caused by stress and anxiety. Here, you will be given the correct tools to manage your anxiety and stress levels, which in turn should improve your mental well-being, but also the symptoms of erectile dysfunction. What's important is improving lifestyle factors such as reducing alcohol intake, stopping smoking and avoiding drug misuse. Keeping your weight at a healthy level and improving your diet can help you with this. But let's get focused on the problem the mechanism of how erectile dysfunction could occur. One of the most important molecules involved in erectile dysfunction is called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is made by our bodies. We can get it from food, but nitric oxide decreases as you get older. It is at a level of 50% when you reach age 40. Nitric oxide is a major player in erections. So the most likely reason for erectile dysfunction is often a deficiency of this molecule nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps relax your arterias and increases blood flow in your body. If you have low nitric oxide release in your blood, you might have a hard time breathing. Another link is the relationship between nitric oxide and the stress hormone cortisol. Nitric oxide helps to regulate cortisol. It's a proven fact that the more anxiety you have, the more cortisol your body produces and due to this you'll experience more stress and have an increased likelihood of erectile dysfunction. In fact, you can't get an erection when the nervous system fight-flight response is dominant, which happens with a lot of stress. Erection occurs when you're more relaxed, when you have low amounts of stress and when you're calm. This is why men might get an erection during sleep because their nervous system is more at ease. And there's another connection that is interesting. Nitric oxide has a profound effect on testicular steroids because it helps you make testosterone. So nitric oxide is involved in a hormone produced by the pituitary gland that controls the amount of testosterone you make. So if you low on nitric oxide, you probably won't make as much testosterone. 
Nitric oxide is also intimately involved in sleep cycles, including REM sleep. This could be why there is a greater risk of erectile dysfunction with sleeping problems, insomnia or sleep apnoia. So the big question is now, how can you increase nitric oxide? Well, it goes without saying that avoiding alcohol and smoking helps as well keeping your stress level down. But here are some major tips. Number one, start breathing through your nose. When you do that, you increase nitric oxide to your lungs and the rest of your body. Combine that with number two, exercise while breathing regularly. Yoga is a great example of this type of exercise. If you can breathe through your nose, you will increase nitric oxide. Number three, you can also increase nitric oxide with certain nitrate containing food, such as beets, spinach, kale, and any of the leafy greens. Number four, on the flip side, you'd want to avoid sugar because that helps destroy the inside of your arterias. And number five, do things to improve your sleep. That help increase your nitric oxide a lot. So, these are five natural things you can do to overcome the decrease of nitric oxides, which comes with aging. Now here's the thing. There is another very effective influencer to help get over erectile dysfunction. It's about a method to release something vital called oxytocin. Oxytocin plays a very active role in your body's sexual response. Scientific evidence shows how oxytocin in the bloodstream plays an effective role in sexual arousal and erection by activating nerves within the pelvic region. Oxytocin comes in two forms. As a neurotransmitter called a neurohormone that acts as a messenger within the nervous system and a hormone which acts as a messenger within the blood. And it's very, very important. One of its roles is to reduce cortisol stress levels, which gets your nervous system into the only state where an erection is actually possible. It also triggers the process of erectile blood engorgement within the penis when you have sexual thoughts or dreams. Now I like to share some life-changing information with you. Oxytocin can be released when you stimulate your skin in a certain way. And that means you can increase the level of oxytocin you release with one very simple exercise. This exercise triggers strong sensation in the erectile tissue. When you combine this simple touch exercise with nasal breathing, physical movement and a healthy lifestyle, you will increase sexual arousal. You will definitely become more sensitive to sexual stimulation and are more likely to experience erection and sexual pleasure. So the oxytocin pathway shows how the entire male body is a kind of sexual organ that works holistically. So you see, focusing on one part of your body doesn't mean you'll find the cause or solution to erectile dysfunction. But focusing on your body as a whole and including this oxytocin releasing exercise will. If you would like to know how to do this simple life-changing exercise to stimulate your skin and produce the oxytocin you need, please click the link here around the video. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click the bell or write in the comments below. This video is intended for informational purpose. Please consider this as an inspiration to look deeper and ask for professional advice if you desire. I would like to see you next time. Have a wonderful day.